What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to be going over my experience interviewing at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health as well as some unique differences between public and private medical schools. Let's get straight to it. If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith. I'm currently applying for medical school and as I begin my medical journey, I want to share every step of the way with you all with hopes of inspiring and motivating you along your own personal journeys. Be sure to subscribe and tap that bell. New videos coming every week. You're not going to want to miss a beat. And check out my Instagram page to see what I'm up to on more of the day to day. It was only after my experience interviewing at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health that I was able to recognize a few unique differences between public schools and private schools. I also was able to see that Madison, Wisconsin is gorgeous. Before we actually get into the interview, let's go over a few differences between public and private medical schools. First, it's important to understand that public schools receive funding from the state and in turn are required to provide a certain number of spots in their upcoming class to residents of that state. So this means that applicants often have the best chance of getting into the public medical school in which they are state residents. Also, at public schools, the students who are residents of that state actually pay significantly less in tuition than students who are not residents of that state compared to private schools where everybody pays the same in tuition. And again, this is because of the funds that the school receives from the state and these funds actually subsidize some of the tuition. And so again, this makes it that much more important for in-state applicants to apply to their state medical school because ultimately in-state applicants are preferred. Now for the question that I'm sure most of you are wondering, are public schools worse than private schools? Of course the answer is not necessarily. Ultimately every single medical school in the United States will have similar curriculums and they will all prepare very competent physicians. There will be nuances here and there between schools and some of these may be beneficial for some students while the same things may be detrimental for others and so it's important that you look into the specifics of a school and not just whether or not it's private or public. With that being said, according to the US News and World Report, eight of the top 10 and 15 of the top 20 medical schools in the country are private. Now the methodology used to determine these rankings may favor private medical schools, such as funding from the NIH, acceptance rates, faculty resources, etc. And again, a school's ranking will not ultimately define what school is best for you. But if prestige of a school is something that's important to you, these differences are something you may want to consider. Finally, there is a slight but notable difference in the percentage of students pursuing primary care following graduation from either public or private medical schools. A study done by the American Academy of Family Physicians found that 28.8% of students who graduated from a public medical school pursued primary care specialties compared to 24.3% of students graduating from a private medical school. Also, a lot of public schools are known for having unique missions directed towards cultivating family medicine practitioners as well as physicians who are interested in practicing in underserved and underrepresented communities. And so if this is something that is interesting to you, this is definitely something you would want to consider. So in conclusion, when you're applying and deciding between a public and a private school, you want to ultimately consider a few points. One, what are my chances of getting in? Two, what potential tuition differences apply to me? And three, and most importantly, what do I value as a student? Now let's get into the specific interview experience at Wisconsin. See what I did there? I was the accent, Wisconsin. Like all the other interviews I've been to, the day included things like an orientation of the program, a tour of the facilities, a lunch with current medical students, as well as the interviews. I do want to emphasize that the majority of the applicants, the other applicants interviewing, were either currently enrolled as undergraduates at the University of Wisconsin or graduated from that university. And by far, almost all applicants had some ties to the state of Wisconsin. All right. Time to go to work. This just goes to show the value that public medical schools place on in-state residents as well as students who are currently enrolled in the undergraduate program. Now the interview format at Wisconsin included one traditional interview and one group interview. 
Make sure you check out my Northwestern video where I go over some specifics with the group interview format if you're unfamiliar with this. The traditional interview was with a faculty member and it was completely conversational, very relaxed. We actually spent a chunk of the time talking about his life and some of his interests which really helped promote that conversational feel and help develop some rapport which made everything a little less stressful. And then our group interview was facilitated by a medical student. I was very impressed with this experience and one thing that I really appreciated was how the faculty and the students really cultivated a family-like atmosphere throughout the entire medical school. Every interview just makes me that much more excited to get going. Make sure you check out my medical school interview playlist so you can see my experiences at different schools as well as a brief overview of every single interview format that you can expect to see when applying for medical school. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It's really appreciated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, tap that bell. New videos dropping every Saturday afternoon. You're not going to want to miss it. Keep evolving, and I'll see you guys next time.